Hello everyone, today is one of those days where I just really, really, really want to transform myself because currently I look like this. You know what, like there's nothing wrong with no makeup on and everything like that, but just like this combination, like the hair, the face, I've got like no fake tan on, it's all patchy and disgusting, I've got this friggin top that looks like pajamas, I'm just not feeling myself. So I thought I would give myself a little confidence kind of boost today, try some new makeup, put on some nice clothes, do my hair. So first step, let's put on a cute little off the shoulder black top. Maybe we can call this like how to catfish people because that's basically what I'm doing today. How do people do that? Next up let's blow dry my hair so I can get it out of this floppy weird towel that I just don't know what's happened. I'm going to be using my favorite hair dryer that is literally like 15 years old and a couple of my favorite hair care products. <sighs> Where did that go? Summit Glam Earrings. Mellow Cosmetics is working with me on this video because they've got two new like glow contour kind of palettes. They look very beautiful. You guys have already seen, especially if you've been watching me for a long time, you've seen me talking about their lipsticks. They've got such beautiful lipsticks. I'll show you a few at the end of the video. Beautiful eyeshadow palettes, which of course we will use today. These have already launched. They launched on Mellow's fifth birthday and I do have a discount code for you guys. I will pop it on the screen and also link it down below for you guys, along with links to everything I'm using in this video. But these are brand new. So there's two different kind of shade packs. One for lighter medium skin and then another for darker skin. I'm going to be trying these for the very first time today and I'm very excited because you guys know I love highlighters, I love contouring, it's all the things I love. The packaging is so freaking cute. It looks like this on the inside and then here's a quick sneak peek of the inside as well. Mellow Cosmetics is also vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, which is absolutely amazing. So let's get started and transform my face. Already I feel 20,000 times better but we need to do some really nice glam makeup I think. First off I'm just going to conceal around my eyebrows. Look at this gnarly pimple as well. Like just to really boost my self confidence this huge volcano popped up on my head. It doesn't look as bad on camera as it looks in real life. It is literally swollen to the size of a pea. I'll link below as well my Mellow Lip Swatch video that I filmed so long ago but it's definitely worth a quick watch if you do want to purchase any lipstick with that 25% off discount code which is linked below. <laughs> it's not an affiliate code but this video is in collaboration with Mellow Cosmetics. Next up I'm going to take the Mellow Brow Definer and this is a little triangular kind of shaped brow pencil and this one is in the shade Caramel and I'm just going to use this to fill in any little gaps in my eyebrows like just up above here. You can see I've got like some bald patches which is always lovely. I definitely like a natural brow these days but I'm gonna go a little bit more full just because I'm doing a full glam look. Mellow Cosmetics also does carry pomades and powders. I've just been loving pencils lately like which is really weird for me. But here's how some of those other products look as well if you do like a different kind of formula they do offer different ones. I've just primed my eyelids using my favorite eye primer and next up we're gonna go into the eyeshadow. I'm doing my eyeshadow before my foundation just so I can clean it up and make sure it looks nice and dramatic and sharp. I think I'm gonna mainly use the Sinopia palette today by Mellow. The colors inside so pretty. It's more of your red tone kind of palette. There's a pop of blue in there, some shimmers and mattes and a bunch of neutrals as well. So I'm first going to start with the shade called Blush. I'm just staying with placing the color. I'm not really blending it yet but you can see how pigmented it is. And I'm just going to start softly blending the edges out a little. Then next up I'm going to go in with the shade Pekin which is just like a kind of brow bone highlight shade. I'm just applying that right under my brow bone. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Nudie, which is like a true kind of crease color. It's a little bit warmer. I'm going to kind of like place it in the same kind of area, but bring it in towards my nose a little more and just blend out the brow bone color into the crease color. Now I'm going to go in with a really nice deep neutral color. It's like a kind of red undertone, burgundy undertone. This one right here is called Merlot, which is such a good name. I love a good Merlot. <laughs> Whoa. So pigmented. I'm just kind of tapping this on the outer corner area and then just blend the edges. I've just wiped off the majority of that pigment off my brush before doing this part just because I don't want to like smear the color everywhere. 
but I do want this to be very blended at this point. We're going to do a bit of a cut crease soon, but I want all of these colors to almost just like melt together. I'm not worried about this outer corner being real messy because we will sharpen it right up soon. You can see these eyeshadows are really nice and easy to blend, which is good too. I'm just going to quickly cut my crease. And then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to start with the shade Champagne, which is just such a beautiful color. I'm going to pop that on my inner corner. I might have to touch it up soon after I do my foundation, but I'm just going to put that on my inner corner. That is so beautiful. I'm also just bring it up on to maybe like half of that area we've just cut out. Oh my god, look at that. That color is incredible. The shimmers in this palette is so on point. And once that is all on, I'm going to go over like the outer part of that cut crease with a different shimmer. I think I'll go on with the shade Birch. I'm just obsessed with this undertone. It's like a bronzy color. It's got like almost a hint of like a pinky kind of undertone to it. Oh my god, it's almost like coppery. This is glam. I'm kind of going on a diagonal almost. And then I'm going to take Champagne and Birch and mix them together on my brush and just kind of try to blend the line a little better. Now we're going to do a little action on the lower lash line. You can see I've just cleaned up everything a little bit with my foundation and everything. I'll link everything I used down below. We're going to go in with the shade Current, which is this beautiful like bold red shimmery color. I'm going to keep this really nice and close to the lower lash line. Just applying that right underneath. I'm obsessed with how that looks. It's so beautiful. Just to break up the eye makeup a little bit from my eye color, because red around the eyes can sometimes look a little bit intense, we're going to do a nude eyeliner. Next up, we're going to use the Precision Pen Eyeliner. It has an applicator just like this, like a little felt tip. I'm just going to do a winged eyeliner. I don't even know if I can do this on camera. I'm just going to keep it really nice and thin on that inner corner. So next up, I am going to just pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. All right, we're getting very close to this full glam catfish operation Shanexo 1.0. But in my opinion, full glam makeup needs contouring, highlighting, blush, like let's go. Otherwise, I just look like a potato. Potato. Spud. Sweet potato. Normal potato. I'm going to show you both shades of this palette. I've not tried them yet. This is my first impression. So we have this one right here. Stardust Glow Palette in Light Medium. And the lighting means it doesn't really pick up as nice as it really looks in real life. You get two highlighter shades, bronzer slash contour and blush. So I'm going to swatch the shade Star. Ooh, yes. Okay, here we are. It's a beautiful like gold undertone. Very buttery. So pigmented. Here's the other shade called Luna. It's a little bit more champagne pink toned, which is very beautiful as well. Actually, you know what? That one would probably go perfectly with my eye makeup today. Then we have Dawn, which is our like bronzer slash contour color. That's really nice. And then Delta, which is a beautiful pinky peachy blush. Now the Stardust glow palette in medium dark we have nova which is a beautiful like bronze highlighter that would be stunning on medium to dark skin tones and we also have luna which is a little bit lighter so you could use them alone mix them together that one i could even use on my skin tone so that's the two highlighters and then we have how do i pronounce this antares i probably said that wrong bronzer color and then the blush called Sigma, like a beautiful burnt coral kind of shade. So once again, this is a brand new. Make sure you check it out on the website, discount code below. I'm going to go in with a bronzer brush and I'm going to take the shade Dawn. I'm just going to do one tap because it's like intensely pigmented. It's actually very easy to blend. I like that. I'm just going to add a bit more now just to get a more intense look. I'm also going to put it on my temples. This color is really pretty. It's just really warming up my skin as well. I'm going to do a little bit over my nose into my bottom lip just to make it look a little bit poutier. Then I'm going to take the exact same brush and I'm going to take the blush called Delta. Once again, I'm just going to tap off the excess and then just apply that like almost on my cheekbone. Oh my god, this is so pretty. I really like this blush color with the eyeshadows I've chosen today as well. This is like a crazy pigmented blush, so make sure you do only take a small amount at once and then just blend it out really nicely. By the way, I had like virtually no fallout with any of those eyeshadows or anything, which is amazing. Next up, I am so excited for this part, the highlighter, and I think I will go with this side right here. And I'm going to show you this in real time so we can see how it performs. This is on a dry brush. So let's pop it on. Yep, that is super blinding. But you know what? It blends into the skin really nicely. This is the kind of blinding highlight I do like. 
there's no like shimmers just settling on top of my skin it's really like buffing in nicely and just looks like a super shiny finish it doesn't look glittery you know what I mean but there is no denying it is freaking intense so if you like an intense highlight super shiny highlight like this is for you holy crap the color is really pretty I'm also gonna put a little bit on my chin I just really like to highlight my chin I don't know why it's just something I started doing and now I can't stop and I'm also going to pop it above my eyebrows I'm honestly so stoked with that those highlighters are freakishly amazing I'm just gonna swatch them on my hand too just so you can see like the reflection so the gold ones below obviously and then the top ones the one I've got on today so this makeup look is looking freaking amazing I'm obsessed with how it's turned out now we've just got to do now we're just gonna do lipsticks. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of different lipsticks. These are out of my own collection. Whoops, they sent me new ones too, but I've already got them in my collection. So the one I'm going to use first is called Nude. And Nude is actually like a kind of more, actually I might use the other one first because I think I'll like keep this one on. Let's go in with Posh first. So Posh is like a true kind of brownish nude. Like, look how beautiful that is. This is like super matte and it smells amazing. Like, what even is that? Like, it's kind of vanilla, but I don't know. It's so good though. And the packaging is just so beautiful. Like, look how cute. It's like a matte kind of finish little bullet and it's like a nude color with gold. I'm obsessed. It looks so beautiful. So that is the first lipstick color. I honestly like love, 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 love this. The lipsticks are so comfortable on the lips. They feel very thin. They don't feel drying whatsoever, even though it's like a super matte finish. So once again, check my down bar for my mellow lip swatch video also once again that shade is called posh that's our first little lip option i'm keeping both of them very sexy and sultry and nude because that's just what i like to wear when i really want to feel like glam 60 60 60 i don't even want to take this off right now but i did promise their yeah, matte liquid lipsticks are amazing as well if you are looking for like some new colors like this one right here look at the packaging first of all this is called tehran it's so beautiful but i'm just obsessed with bullet lipsticks again it's like all i use lately so once again this one's called nude it's more of like a more of undertone nude color I mean, look how beautiful that color is. What one do you prefer? Do you prefer the nude or like this one right here? Maybe I do want to wear the nude one after all. I don't know. This one matches my hair clips though, kind of. You know what? Over top of it, this lip color, I'm going to go in with the Mellow Liquid Lip Paint. This is a matte formula and this is an Ibiza. And this is how the applicator looks. And that will dry completely matte. So our glam transformation is almost complete. But you know what? I want to fix my hair a little bit. I'm going to add some extensions. Because I always feel extra, extra, extra glam. When my hair looks a lot thicker. And it gives me maybe like one inch of length. I don't really wear them for like a lot of length. But definitely thickness. So I'm going to clip in some of my chic hair extensions. They look like this. Now we have instantly volumized hair, which is always lovely. I also added a little bit of dry shampoo to my roots earlier. Even though my hair is freshly washed, it just gives a little bit extra like volume, a little bit of texture. And I like it when my hair looks quite like fluffy. I don't know. For the final step, I'm going to take the darker palette and just take the shade Nova and mix it with a little bit of Luna. And then just apply a little bit of this on it to my collarbones and shoulders. And then just sitting that with a bit of setting spray. And that, my friends, is how you can catfish anyone you want. I'm <laughs> just joking. But a great way to just make yourself feel amazing and glamorous and sexy when you just want to play with some makeup, get all dolled up. It's always good for a quick, I don't know, confidence boost. I don't, it's just so much fun. I love transformations. I love watching transformations on YouTube. So here's my one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the down bar for a link of all the products I use today and a discount code for Mellow Cosmetics as well. It's Shout out to Mello for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. Been a huge fan of their lipsticks for a few years now. So hopefully you guys love them just as much as I do. This lip combo is giving me life. I love the eye makeup too. Talk to you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>